Welcome to Miss Mimi's Music Room. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today I'd like to talk to you about being healthy. That means that you're taking good care of yourself by eating good foods, getting plenty of movement or exercise, keeping clean, and getting plenty of sleep. I'd like to show you a video of some children I saw playing in a very unusual place. These children were getting plenty of exercise in a special play area in Denver, Colorado. They were playing on breakfast foods. I'm so glad you were able to see the children playing on all those breakfast foods. Wasn't that fun? It's one of my favorite, and I'd like to show it again to you. And this time, I was wondering, how many different breakfast foods can you see in that video? Boys and girls, I have with me my dear friend, Pat Arrhythm. Hi, Pat Arrhythm. Hi, Miss Mimi. It's good to have you with us. Today we've been talking about health, and we've been talking about finding a way to help our bodies stay healthy. What do you do to stay healthy? I eat fish and berries. Hmm. That one rhythm would be, I eat fish and berries. Can you do that? I eat fish and berries. Let's do that with him. I eat fish and berries. What else do you do to keep healthy? I do lots of walking. Oh, that's good exercise. I do lots of walking. I do lots of walking. Let's do that with him. I, I do, do lots, lots of walking. walking. Good. Do you have any other suggestions for keeping healthy? I drink fresh water. That's really good. I drink fresh water. I drink fresh water. Let's do it with him. I, I drink, drink fresh, fresh water. water. And do you have one last suggestion for us? You need lots of sleep. Oh, that's true. You need lots of sleep. You need lots of sleep. You, you need, need lots, lots of sleep. sleep. Well, Pat Arrhythm, I'm so glad that you're a healthy bear and that you could come and visit us today. Thank you so much. Bye, Miss Mimi. Goodbye, Pat Arrhythm. It's time now for us to pause in our program and read a book. I'd like to share this book with you. It's called Keeping Healthy. 
It was written by Sally Hewitt, and it's published by QEB. Your body is amazing. It can think, learn, run, and play. It can see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. There are lots of things you can do to help your body grow and to keep it strong and healthy. Eat well. You need energy for everything you do. Food and drink give you energy. If you don't eat or drink enough, you will soon feel tired. When you feel hungry, eat fresh food and plenty of fruits and vegetables. When you feel thirsty, drink milk, juice, and plenty of water. Keep moving. Moving makes your body work harder. It makes your heart pump faster and your lungs breathe in more air. Moving helps keep your muscles and bones strong. You can walk, run, climb, and swim. You can play sports and games. Moving can be fun. Fight germs. Tiny germs too small to see can make you feel ill. When you feel unwell, staying warm and resting helps your body fight germs and get better. Germs can get on your hands. Make sure that you wash your hands before you eat. Enjoy fresh air. Sunshine and fresh air help keep you healthy. Hot sun can burn your skin, so wear sunscreen and a hat. When it's cold outside, wrap up warm and have something hot to eat and drink. Getting too cold makes you shiver. Stay clean. During the day, you might get hot and sweaty and covered in dirt. A bath or shower washes away germs and keeps you smelling sweet. Germs stick to your teeth when you eat and drink. Brush your teeth every morning and every evening to get rid of germs and to keep your smile shiny and bright. Sleep well. After a busy day, your body needs a rest. It has been thinking, moving, and working very hard. While you are asleep, your body has a long rest. You need to get plenty of sleep to stay healthy. When you wake up, you are ready for a new day. My name is Rita Letter, and I'm a good friend of your good friend, Miss Mimi. Letters make me happy. I've seen letters all over the place as I've traveled around. Maybe you've seen some good ones, too. Miss Mimi asked me to stop by today and talk about one of my favorite letters. It's right here. Do you know what letter we're talking about today? Hooray! We found the letter H. H is in the word health, the word home, horse starts with H, hallway, heart, and harmonica. (laughs) 
Let's draw the letter H. I'm going to use my hand. Here we go. Capital H, looking great. And a lowercase h looks a little bit different. Big H and little h. H is very helpful for some movement words. We can pretend like we're a bunny and hop. We can clap our hands. We can nod our head. Boys and girls, we have just a few moments left, but I'd like to read a letter to you. It's from my pen pal, Hannah. Dear Rita, hi, how are you? I hope you are happy. I had to hurry home today after school. I was so hungry. I ate a hot dog for dinner and then ran outside to play hopscotch. Did I tell you my chickens hatched this weekend? All of the chicks are healthy. Hooray! I will end my letter now, but I hope to hear from you soon. Your pen pal, Hannah. Thanks for talking about the letter H with me. This is Read a Letter, saying keep your eyes open for the letter H. Have a happy day. Eating good foods is another way to stay healthy. I have a song and a video about some fruits and vegetables. This is called, What's Your Favorite Veggie? This is my friend Clef. Clef really enjoys music. He likes music of all kinds from all places in the world. Today he's going to do some movement with the music that you're going to hear and we'd like for you to try to do the same thing he's doing. Try to copy him. Another way to keep healthy is to eat healthy foods. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Dave, and his granddaughter, Mickey, as they prepare a healthy snack. Hi, my name is Dave, and this is my granddaughter, Mickey. And today we're gonna share with you a healthy snack. What do we mean by healthy snack? Well, what do you mean by healthy snack? Mm, and 
on a log. Ants on a log. That's a good healthy snack and that's what we're going to make today. Healthy snacks are better for you because... They make you grow and they make us strong. Yep, they can make you strong. And we have an important part of our body that helps us think. What's that part? Our brain. That's right, your brain. So if our body's healthy and our brain is healthy, we're probably a lot happier people, huh? Yeah. All right. So, ants on a log. Let's show everybody what we use to make ants on a log. So what's this stuff? Celery. Celery, right. And celery can grow in the garden? Mm, yeah. I think so. I've grown celery in the garden. And inside the celery, we're going to put some... Peanut butter. Yep. But I have a friend who can't eat peanuts because he's allergic to peanuts. So since he can't eat peanuts, he likes to use... Cream cheese. That's right, cream cheese. We put cream cheese in there instead. So we're gonna try them both ways today. So let's take a piece of celery. Some people mm -hmm. don't like to eat this part of the celery, but I like them because they look like trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can put some peanut butter in it. Spread it right in there. Very good. <laughs> the nice thing about ants on a log is you don't have to be neat when you're making it. As long as you have a good place to work like this. And you need a washcloth or some napkins nearby because it will be a little messy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Alright, now what do we put on there? We have a choice of... Raisins. Yep, and what are raisins made from? Grapes. What happened to the grapes to make them like this? They're dried in the sun. Dried in the sun, oh. <laughs> They're pretty good too. Mm hmm And we have another choice. Craisins. Yeah. And what are craisins? Are they crazy raisins? No. What are they? They're cranberries dried in the sun. Oh, they're like raisins only made from cranberries, huh? I get it. Which ones are you gonna use for yours? Um, these ones. Okay. You're gonna put them on one at a time? Yeah. Okay. You like to give them a name while you put them on there? This one's wrinkly, <laughs> and this one's chubby, <laughs> and this one's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there's lots of different ways to do it too. You can do it neatly, like Mickey does, one at a time. Or, or you can sprinkle it. Yep, you can sprinkle them on like this. Just make it rain craisins and <laughs> see where they land. That works pretty good. Or this is what another friend of mine does. He lines them all up on the plate like this and then turns the log upside down. Push her. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's a good looking one. Put it over here on our tray. Can you put mine on there? Yes. It's really messy. Oh, I'm ready to eat these right now. I guess we have to make some more first though, huh? Let's do some TV magic. Ready? Yeah. We just raise our hands up. <laughs> and we go swish, swish, swish. <laughs> and then blink. 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 And there is our tray. Looks good, huh? Should we go see if anybody wants one? Yeah. Let's go share. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Seymour, and it's really nice to be on the Miss Mimi show today. I have an instrument today that I'm sure most of you have seen before. And it's played with, um, with air. And uh, I do a lot of movement when I play my instrument. And this particular one, as you see, is the tin whistle. It's also known as the Irish whistle or the penny whistle. 
and it's black. Now, if you notice that it has six holes, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the part that I blow into. And this is called just the mouthpiece. So I place it in my mouth, and then I take a breath of air, then I blow. And then I can use my tongue to separate the different sounds that, that you hear. So the penny whistle is really, really popular. In fact, it was very popular back in the year 300 AD. And it's been around, it's usually used in, in Europe, but anyone can just pick it out of their pocket and just do a lot of songs with this instrument. And I'll demonstrate it. And one of the songs that I'm going to be playing is like moving your body with an Irish flavor is going to be the name of the song. And that's our song today on the penny whistle. Thank you so much for coming today and visiting with me. I hope you'll be able to stay healthy. And remember that you need plenty of exercise. You need to drink lots of water. Wash your hands before you eat. Eat healthy foods, which would include fruits and vegetables. And please get plenty of sleep. You'll grow up to be strong. Would you please sing after me now, and we'll complete the song together. So long, so long, goodbye, goodbye, see you soon, see you soon, my friend, my friend. So long, so long, goodbye, goodbye, see you soon, see you soon, my friend, my friend. So long, so long, goodbye, goodbye, till we meet. So long. Hello, this is Miss Mimi, and I'd like you to be a part of the Miss Mimi Show. We are producing new shows and would like to feature your pictures and videos. For more information, please email us at asdtv at asdk12.org. Thank you for your help with our show, and I look forward to hearing from you.